Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Denise here. I'm ready for Bible class, are you? Let's go, let's go. Are you coming? Come on, let's go. We're almost there. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. We're almost there. Here we go. Is this where we belong? Let's go. Here we are. Oh, it's so lonely. I miss you guys. Where are you? Are you at safe and sound at home? And here we are at Bible class. Oh, there are friends. There you are. Let's see. There's Hi Ezekiel. Hi Grayson. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's Ava. Hi, Miss Ava. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Rory. And hi, me. There's Miss Denise. Hi guys, we're going to have a Bible class, so stay tuned, and Miss Denise is going to tell you her story, just like if you were here. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, boys and girls, here we are in Bible class. What's this? It's a Bible. A Bible. And inside the Bible, there's all kinds of stories and all kinds of good things that for us to follow. And inside here, there is a special story that Jesus told. Jesus told these stories called parables. Do you know what a parable is? A parable is a story that teaches a lesson. And today, you're going to hear a parable called the Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan, it's found in Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. The Good Samaritan. Okay. All right. Jesus was talking to people. He talked to people all the time. And so one day this lawyer stood up and asked Jesus. He said, Jesus, I know we're supposed to love our neighbor, but who is my neighbor? So Jesus said, let me tell you a parable. So they sat down to listen. And Jesus said, one day there was this man and he was walking down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. And guess what? On his way, look what's happening. <gasps> there were some mean bad, can y'all see him? There were some mean bad guys, some mean robbers hiding there. And when the man passed by, guess what happened? They jumped out from behind those rocks and they started hurting that poor man. They were hitting him and they ripped his clothes and they took all his money and the poor guy was bleeding. And then they ran away. And they left him. Look at that. They left him right there laying down hurt. Oh, poor guy. Is he hurt? Yeah, he's hurt. And they didn't care. They just left him. So what's he going to do? Well, pretty soon, somebody comes by. <gasps> Yay, somebody's going to help us. But guess what? This guy was a priest. Now, a priest is someone special that studies about God and is supposed to love God and do what God says. But guess what this priest did? He saw the man, and then he just hurried on past and did not help him. Look, he's walking on past really fast. <gasps> Poor guy. He didn't stop and help him. Oh, what's he going to do? He's hurt. He's bleeding. He's hurt. Well, pretty soon, somebody else is coming by. Yay, he's going to help. But guess what? He didn't help either. Nope. That Levite, say Levite, Levite. That Levite just walked right on past again. Poor guy, why don't they help him? Well, it, after a little while... The hurt man might have heard a donkey coming along. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. He heard something. He might have thought, yay, somebody's going to help me now. But 
Then he saw a Samaritan. Can you say Samaritan? Samaritan. Yeah, Samaritan. And he thought, that Samaritan's not going to help me. People are mean to them. But guess what? That Samaritan did help him. Yay! He stopped and look how he's helping him. He put his blanket under his head. And then what happened? Oh, look, he's, he washed his sores. And he put a bandage on him. And he took care of him. And then he helped him up. So he said, oh, come on, let's get up. He helped him up, lifted up, and guess what he did? He put the hurt man right on his own donkey. That poor hurt man probably couldn't walk. He was so hurt. But he put him on his donkey, and he said, guess what? He said, I'm going to help you. I'm going to take you to a place where you'll be safe and, take, and be cared for. So the man, the Samaritan man, led the hurt man to a place called an inn. It's kind of like a hotel, has beds and rooms. And he took him there. And when he got there, he took care of him all night until the next day. But then the man had to leave, so guess what he did? He told the innkeeper, or the person that's in charge, he said, take care of my friend, the hurt man for me, please, and I'm going to pay you. And he gave him two pieces of money. Can you help me count that? Say one, two. Yeah, he paid him two pieces of money. And he said, and you, if you need more than that, you spend all you need on this man to make him well and make him comfortable. And when I come back, if you have spent more than I gave you, then I will give you some more money. And that's what he did. He gave him more money if he needed to. So when they were all done, Jesus asked the man again. He said, so, Mr. Lawyer, who was the neighbor? Who was your neighbor? Who was the kind person? Was it the priest who just kept walking right on by? No, it wasn't the priest. Oh, I bet it was the Levite. Was it the Levite? No, the Levite kept walking and he didn't stop either. So who was the good neighbor? The Samaritan, yes, because he stopped and helped the hurt man. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants us to be kind and nice to everyone. At home, you can be kind to your mommy, yeah, and your daddy. And you can be kind to your sister and brother and your doggy. And you can help pick up your toys. And you can go to bed when mommy say. Yeah, you can be sweet and nice. And that's our memory verse for this week. Okay, here it is. It says, be kind to everyone. And it's found in Ephesians 4, 32. Can you help me say it? Say, be good, kind to everyone. Good job. Let's do it all together. Be kind to everyone. Ephesians 4, 32. Do you like that story? That's a good story about teaching us how to be kind to people, isn't it? Okay, do you want to sing some songs? You do? Okay, guess what? There is somebody at my house waiting to help us sing some songs. So hang in there. Don't go away. We'll be right back to sing some songs. Okay? Hi, Cooper's here with us, and he's going to help us uh, sing some songs. And kids at home, you can sing along with us, okay? All right, the first song we're going to sing is Jesus Loves Me. Ooh, can you sing Jesus Loves Me? All right, let's go. Ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
the Bible tells me so. All right, good job, kids. How about Fuzzy Caterpillar? Mm -hmm. You kids want to sing Fuzzy Caterpillars? Okay, reach in your pockets and get out your caterpillars. Where's your caterpillars, Cooper? Hold them up, ready? <laughs> Fuzzy little caterpillar climbing up a tree. He wiggles long, he wiggles short, he wiggles back at me. I put him in a little box. Don't go away, I said. But when I opened up the box, it was a butterfly instead. I can never make one, even if I tried. For only God in heaven can make a butterfly. Good job. One more song. What are you going to sing? Last one. Which one? Um, what do you think? You going to sing Bullfrog? Yes. All right, y'all get your bullfrogs ready. Here goes Bullfrog. I'm a medium-sized bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a medium-sized bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a medium-sized bullfrog and God loves me. Croak, croak, croak. I'm a little bitty bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a little bitty bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a little bitty bullfrog and God loves me. Croak, croak. I'm a great big bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a great big bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a great big bullfrog and God loves me. Croak, croak, croak. I'm a medium sized bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a little bitty bullfrog and God loves me. I'm a great Big bullfrog and God loves me. Croak, croak, croak. Okay, bye-bye kids. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.